Hello beautiful people, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. I haven't filmed a YouTube video in so long. My life has just gone from zero to 100 over the last few months and honestly, I was like, it's autumn time, winter is coming up, Christmas is coming up, what better time to start my YouTube than now. I have a very exciting video for you guys today because I have a very special unboxing. I mean, I've already opened it because as soon as it came, I was like, oh, I need to open this now. I ordered the new iPhone 11. I'm trying not to get the shine of the ring light onto the box, but as you can tell, this is the new iPhone 11 in the purple color. I was instantly drew to this purple because it's a nice kind of light lilac shade, which you'll see when I show you the phone in a second. Sis, this was expensive, not as expensive as the iPhone Pro Max, but this was still, you know, seven, 800 pounds. I'm not gonna spend my money on something which just doesn't look the part, but this boy, let me tell you it is so nice everything you get in the box is standard apple products you get the stickers you get the kind of manual you get the headphones and you get the cable as well i got this in a 64 gigabyte some of you might be wondering why i have upgraded my phone i currently have the iphone 8 plus in 64 gigabyte and i've only had that for a year now i absolutely love my 8 plus it's a great phone it's got a great camera but I've really started to push my social media. I wanna start getting back into YouTube a lot more. And I was looking to invest in a, like a handheld camera to vlog on and to take videos on. I am stepping up my Instagram game and I will link my Instagram in the description box below. And the quality of my videos and the quality of my photos, I wanted a little bit of an upgrade. And for the new iPhone with the amount of extra qualities that it has, especially on the camera, for 700 pounds or for a monthly contract, it's really not that bad and I wanted to treat myself. It is so exciting. I literally screamed when I opened it. Aww. So this is the new iPhone 11. Now in comparison to my 8 Plus, it's a little bit smaller, but exactly the same screen size. So if you do want to upgrade or you're wondering which iPhone to get, the iPhone 11 is slightly smaller than the 8 Plus. It also has the exact same screen size as the iPhone XR. So as you can tell from the back, it's just got two big cameras there. One of them is the normal and one of them is the wide angle. And let me tell you, the wide angle changes photography. Ah! The one thing I like is that it's like a purpley blue. And I just really like the fact that it's a softer purple. That's what it looks like from the front. So it's just all screen. But now I'm gonna show you kind of what's on my iPhone, what new features come with the new iPhone, and also what the new camera is like on the iPhone 11. So one cool new feature um, that I really like about the new iPhone is the face ID. It is so quick. All you have to do now is just put your face up against it. You don't, not literally up against it. <laughs> it can literally register your face in the darkness. Like I woke up and it was completely black and then it just recognized my face. And I was like, how is this camera doing it? It's like someone's behind the screen, like, oh, he's awake on. But as you can see, you've got the clock, maps, calculator, and contacts on the first slide. Um, just your standard kind of iPhone apps. You've got settings. And then I just have these three extra folders. So again, you've got all of the kind of normal iPhone apps in there. Oh, Emma, you're featuring in my video. <laughs> you've also got another folder with just lots of iPhone apps, which normally come with the iPhones anyway. So then you've got this folder, which has all of the more important apps I find. So you've got FaceTime, App Store, iTunes Store, and Wallet, which has all of my cards and my kind of Costa card, my Starbucks card, because I like coffee. And then it's got GarageBand, which is new, I think anyway, but I didn't have it on my last one. And then the new Apple Store, I don't actually know what that is. Oh, apparently it doesn't want to work. I really like my background as well, because it says, just enjoy where you are now. At the bottom as well, you've got calls safari and spotify i'll go on to spotify quick um so if you have spotify feel free to follow me i make monthly playlists every single month and they feature 30 40 of my favorite songs some of them are repeats some of them are you know top 40 hits some of them are more classic throwbacks musicals i've got a whole load of songs on my playlists so feel free to follow me my name is jamie andrew d i'll link it in the description box again let me find it oh yeah here so this is my profile um i don't actually have any followers because oh i have one in my april favorites how exciting um i don't actually have any followers because apparently no one likes my music they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really 
um, but as you can tell, you know, I've been doing this for over a year now. Especially when it gets up to the kind of October, November, December months when Christmas and Halloween music starts to come in, my favourite time. And then you have my main homepage, which comes up as soon as I unlock the phone. So you have shortcuts. I haven't actually tried this out, but um, I would like to. I believe it's just when you are Siri or when you're on an app, you can specify which apps come up or certain things. Try it out, create a shortcut to actions you do in your apps every day, add actions. Um, I don't know what that is, but it looks very exciting nonetheless. And also what you do, so you swipe up from the bottom, which you didn't do on the old iPhone, you just press the home button um, and then you could just kind of swipe it away. If you've had the XR or the XS or the XS Max before, that will be standard to the full screen iPhones. But for me or for anyone that's using the older generations, um, that is a completely new feature. You've then got messages, um, which are pretty standard. Oh, one thing I do like is the uh, Memojis and the Animojis, which are new. Um, so obviously you've got all of your kind of apps on the kind of keyboard at the bottom. And then you have the Animoji and Memojis. Um, so I think these are new to the new iPhone or at least the new iOS update. Um, but essentially they're emojis, but with your Bitmoji or your Animoji. So it's really kind of cool. And how you make one of these is all based on your face ID. Um, oh, hey. So you can record like messages of your Animoji speaking like this and just send it to people. I like to listen to music and then like send it to people. So it's really cool. Um, but if you want to make your own, oh, it's called a Memoji. Um, if you want to make your own, you just press the tap and then, oh, and then you can literally do everything from head to facial hair, to headwear, to your brows, to your eyelashes, to your eye colour, to your piercings. As you can tell into the little Memoji at the top, it literally translates from your face, which is a pretty cool feature. So this is the one I have made. And if you swipe across, you can literally choose any animal emoji and um, it will recognise your face and be your face, which is pretty insane. Um, so yeah, that is the Memoji, which is very exciting. And then you've got camera and photos. So obviously you've got photos, which just has, oh, lots of selfies that I took today. Um, so yeah, that's just got all my photos and things like that. Now the camera, this is the camera. This is the bit you've probably all been waiting for because it was the most exciting feature for me on the iPhone. And I was like, oh yes, please. So let's go on to the camera. Oh. I look like a sweaty mess right now. You can't see this in the camera because fortunately, this iPhone 8 Plus camera quality and video quality isn't 4K HD. Unfortunately, or well, fortunately, the new iPhone 11 has 4K HD 60 FPS recording on both the front and the back camera, which is why you can see that I am being picked up for all of my facial hair, all of my sweat that's dripping because the ring light is piercing my face. Um, I look a hot mess right now. I'm literally speaking to two different cameras. With the camera, you have all of your standard kind of options. So you've got time lapse, you've got slow motion. What you can now do on the iPhone 11 is slow fees, which probably has gone around because it's been a big hype. Um, so what you can record previously on the iPhone was slow motion um, videos. You can now do the same thing on the front facing camera. So let me just give you an example. So as you can tell, I just kind of did a quick video. Um, I don't have hair, but as you can tell from the video, um, it just slows it down. Sometimes that might be fun, especially if you're like an influencer or you like Instagram and social media. It's a pretty cool feature to have. And it's nice how it's different because you couldn't do that before. And then the next thing you've got is the video. And as someone who does uh, YouTube and Instagram videos and stuff like that, um, this is one of my favorite features alongside the photo feature. So what I love about the video, again, like I said, it's all 4K HD in both angles. What you can also do is zoom out using the wide lens on the other side. Now, lots of people don't know that you can also do this on the front facing camera, because if you were to turn it around, it doesn't have the option like it does on the other side. So you have the option for 1x zoom or 0.5x zoom, so it zooms out. Now, how you do that on the other side, so as you can tell, it comes up close 
and then you've got that. Excuse my mess. Oh, I'll show you actually. Hey! <laughs> so uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, so this is me filming on my old iPhone 8 Plus whilst I film this video. And here is my cute little ring light. Um, but yeah, this is the standard kind of video. And then if I zoom out, it gets all of my room, um, which is not cute. So yeah, this is kind of the cool feature of the iPhone, especially with video, um, especially when you're doing like landscape shots. Oh, let me turn it around. Um, especially when you're doing like landscape shots and things like that, it's really nice to be able to get the whole view in. But the one difference between this and the 11 Pro is that it doesn't have the telephoto lens. So when I was looking to order it, I thought, you know, the telephoto lens was cool, but is it worth £300? Probably not for a, you know, zoom, zoom, zoom feature when I don't really need to use it. Maybe if you like going to the stadium football or going to gigs and shows, you will enjoy that feature. But for me, most of my work is pretty much, you know, standard. So I didn't really need that extra feature. So how to get the video on the extra zoom on the front facing camera. So what you do, this is the normal photo. As before, as the video, you just zoom out for the wide extra lens or the standard. What you do, you go wide. So you're like, hi, I'm using the wide angle lens. And then instead of pressing it once for a photo, so that's what you do for a normal photo. What you do, you hold it and it will start recording. So you can either hold and record like I just did, or you can swipe and it will hold it in place using the wide angle lens and it will just completely continue video recording, which I think is a really cool feature. If for whatever reason you were, you know, doing a cute video like doo -doo 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 -doo, and you wanted to take a picture of the video, for example. You can just press this button and it will take a picture or you can press it numerous times and it will take a picture of whatever you are videoing. And that also works for the other lens as well on the back facing camera. Another feature that I really like is night mode. Now, obviously it's bright as hell today, so I can't show you night mode. Um, but it's a very cool, I'll give you that, it's very exciting. What happens is if it goes dark, I wonder whether it'll work. So as you can see from the screen, if it does go dark, this little kind of button comes up in the top left and it's like this kind of moon. What you do if it goes dark, you just press it and then it will auto do it for you, which is quite nice. If you wanted it a little bit brighter, you just swipe. And if you want it a little bit darker, you just swipe. Um, but it's nice to have those kind of auto features or that option to kind of do it manually by yourself. Lots of other features that you get with the photo as well is different frame lengths. So with the older generation iPhones, you just normally have your kind of square. With this new iPhone, you've got new ratios like four by three, 16 by nine. So it just changes the kind of frame to which you're taking the video or the photo, which is nice to have those options available. You also have your kind of flash on, um, you've got auto live on, uh, which is pretty standard, self timer, and also different effects. So one thing that is exciting as well, which you can change in settings, is the frame when you're taking the picture to see what it would look like within the frame and what it looks like outside of the frame. So as you can tell, when I turn it around, the, oh, sorry, my room is so messy. When I turn it around, the black boxes at the top disappear. And then again, you've just got your standard portrait mode. So you've got portrait mode on both the back and the front facing camera. So it just blurs the edges. Then what you can also do is adjust how much the portrait mode is on, which I think is a really new feature. Um, and then you also have the panoramic view. So that is the camera, um, which to me is the most exciting part about the new iPhone, also on my phone. So I'm just gonna go through some of the apps that I have, nothing really majorly exciting. I've got my calendar, my YouTube app, my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, uh, Messenger and WhatsApp. So I have all of my kind of main social media platforms there. So they're just easy to get to. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I am Jamie Deer X and I post every single day. I absolutely love fashion. I love going away to cute little places around the UK on holiday. And it's just uh, one of my favorite apps to use. I absolutely love posting on my story as well with all of my friends when I go to work, when I go out to events. Um, so it's just good to keep updated on my Instagram. I also have Twitter, Jamie Deer X again. Um, which again is just as exciting. Um, I post a lot about my dramatic days. I retweet a lot as well, which is always good fun. And then I have Snapchat, which 
surprise, surprise, Jamie Deer X, my Facebook and Messenger and WhatsApp, which are obviously all private. Um, I've got my notes and then I've got my one second every day. So I haven't actually done it in a while, but when I first started at the beginning of the year, I was so sick at doing it. Like, as you can tell, I was doing it for a solid four months and then my life got so, so busy that I completely forgot. Um, but I'm gonna try and continue to do that as soon as possible. You've then got your reminders, my numbers, my YouTube studio, which for any influencers or YouTubers out there, it just kind of has all your comments, your likes, your videos, etc, etc, etc. So it just allows me to keep track of what videos are doing well, what videos aren't, um, to promote some, and it's just exciting to look at all the content that I produce because I love producing content. You've then got travel, which has kind of all my train apps, all my bus apps, all my kind of taxi apps when I go out. Got my emails. You also have TikTok. Now, I don't want to go too much into this because I am obsessed with TikTok at the moment. Um, and I have an account, which is again, Jamie Deer X. Um, I've embarrassingly posted one video, but we won't talk about that because I'm a and I oob visco girl. Um, and yeah, I just um, absolutely love TikTok, it's the best app. If you don't have it, it's hilarious. I will spend hours on it, but yeah, anyway, that is a separate video in itself. Um, I have Netflix, my gym app, so I can book kind of gym sessions, unfortunately, if I ever do, who knows. All my money apps, so I can keep track of all my monies. Um, I have my editing apps. I wanna do a separate video on all of my kind of editing apps because I use a lot for my Instagram photos. I'm really tempted to get Lightroom, so if anyone actually uses Lightroom, let me know, because I currently use Visco, but I'm tempted to move over to Lightroom, um, because apparently the quality of that editing software is insane, um, but I mainly use Visco, and then I edit it more specifically and refine the features on Facetune, and then I use Tezza for that more vintage effect. Um, sometimes if the lighting is a bit wrong, I use Snapseed, um, but essentially that is what I use. I also have a 21 Buttons account, so if you do follow my Instagram and you like the outfits that I wear, you can shop my outfits and my clothes. Um, and again, that is just Jamie Deer X. So all of my socials are the same. I will leave them all in the description box below anyway. And then I've just got my final page, which has my job, information, so I have my LinkedIn, I have my Yammer, my Hammersmith card, because I work in London at Disney. Um, I then have my shopping app, so it's just got all my shopping apps, because I do a lot of online shopping. My university app, which again has all of the basic apps like files and dot. My YouTube app, which I love, so it's just got all of my editing apps for my thumbnails and for videos. I also have a games app, which I don't often use, but Mario Kart has just come out on iPhones, which I I'm obsessed with. Uh, download it and enjoy it with me. Then in my final folder, I've just got kind of like a junk folder um, that are apps which I don't actually know what to do with. Um, so I have my Time Hop, my Pinterest, um, my CoStar, which actually is a really good app. It goes based off of your birth date and your star sign, which is really nice. So it kind of feels really personal to you and you can follow other people on it and see what kind of they're feeling today. And that is literally everything that's on my new iPhone 11. I have had this now for a week and a half. I have vlogged on it when I went to Brighton last weekend and that vlog will be coming very, very soon. And it is insane quality. Like this is good, but this, oh Lord Jesus. Once this video is done, I will start filming all my videos on this. So the quality is gonna go from like, hmm? to like, I hope you guys learned something a little bit new about the iPhone 11. And if you are deciding what color to go for, go for something that's a little bit different. You will not regret it. The camera on this, if you're interested in getting involved in social media and things like that, the new camera on the iPhone 11 is insane. You realize that actually you don't need a camera and an iPhone because the new iPhone works as both a phone and a new camera. Thank you very much guys for watching the video this week. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe down below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you very very soon. Bye!